hello friends uh, in this video we will learn uh, how to automate the student id cards uh, by simply a scroll bar button by using by simply by using these scroll bars you will be able uh, to create an excellent student id cards all the pictures and information will be changing in accordingly so at the end of this video uh, you will be enhancing more skills in your excel uh, which can make you outperform in any field of your work. So please watch this video from start to end to learn the meaningful outcome from this video. But before we start, if you do not like our channel, please please subscribe now and press the bell icon so you keep getting this information, means this informative video again and again. So let's get started. All right. Uh, so first of all, uh, we will open a blank spreadsheet and we will create two uh, sheets. One will be called uh, student database and second one will be your ID card. First of all, we will uh, set up our student database because this is very important uh, to be set up. So the correct ID card can be populated and images can be placed accordingly. So what you need to do, you need to first input your headings. I already done, which is the picture, student ID, name, student father, class, and emergency call. Okay. Uh, let's say I'm going to add some dummy data here. Let's say my student name is. So here I'm fast forwarding this video to input the student information very quickly. So we save time. So just wait for a while. let me create it as well okay so now i will do what i will select all of these data right click and go on row height and here i will enhance my row height uh, this is not sufficient uh, let's say i do 100 okay so i enhanced the size of all the data so i need to place the pictures here i will go on insert I will go on pictures uh, at my desktop I have some ID data I selected these student pictures which I have and I just added it let's say I can add their height to 3 work to 2 or make it 2 by 2 or maybe 1.5 would be better 1.5, 1.5. I think the one would be better. Yeah. So I, I'm sorry. So I can brought them down here. I need to place them exactly uh, into this folder, right? Is in the cells. So added her. So I added this guy as well. I added this one as well. Okay. So I'm hypothetically placing these pictures. They are of course not real pictures. But make sure they are inside their own cells. They must not be going out of your cells. Otherwise, things will get wrong if they will go out of your cells. Right? And this one, two more. and her picture okay so i place uh, these pictures uh, into their respective cells and next after it there is a data party to them right now i will go on my uh, this page the id card page now i have to design uh, my id card 
so the information I would be placing are these so I can simply copy it go on my ID card and paste as a transpose right so I get these information right uh, I can increase the row height by let's say 16 no it should be more like 25 okay so I just input their ID cards name and all the information at the top we can create some heading of the school let's say the global public school okay so I just added the school name we can it of course change the fonts okay so I added the school name uh, school names now I'm going to fetch the name of the students so I believe I can put them here right and then here I can merge these cells and I will use this for a picture right and at the bottom I will add a signature right so let's do first uh, a triple zero one I'm just adding it right now uh, so I can fetch the information here I will apply the formula VLOOKUP I will take the student name I will go here and I will select this table and here my second one is the student name similarly uh, I will copy this formula and I will paste here and I will just change to the 3 because now my column is 3 then I will change it to 4 and then I will sorry I have to double click and paste and uh, then I will change it to 5 okay so I just brought all the information right I can further format it uh, we can just like that maybe I think the more colors would not be good. I think it should be remain like that. Yeah, that's good. Let's want to fill that. We can simply fold it. Uh, we can fill it, and of course we can change it. Font. So I'm changing its font now. So this information basically uh, important. Uh, so once we are set up, our final objective is to bring the pictures. But without these information, we cannot complete our ID card. So it is really important that we do it for for sure, right? Uh, okay. And if we would like, we can, yeah. So these are ID card information and here I'm going to place a picture. So what I need to do, I will just copy one picture. Let's say I copy this picture, right? And I just paste here, hypothetically, right? This is not changed yet. This will not be changed now, okay? So I, I will tell you how you will automate this. Uh, before that, I need to complete one more thing, which is my signature part. So I can add a top border here and I can merge here and I can simply type signature right and go to view and remove the grid lines and here I can insert one more picture which has my signature right so I can place the signature here right so now my signature is also there this is now a complete ID card so I can border it right and here I can note some uh, point that for example if I want to type let's say this card is property of 
global public school if you found it please say please call at plus nine two three two one two five seven so I just added a note here means if anyone would found it like that so this is the student ID card and we just put some notes and made it complete right so we can border it further and we can fold it right so this how our uh, ID card is completed right now uh, for this particular I need to automate this picture before I automate this I need to automate the student ID card so to automate this student ID card what I need to do uh, I will go on my let's say we have total one two three four five six seven eight students okay so I will go on my developer tab if you don't have any developer tab you will go on file option you will click on customize ribbon and you will you must be having unchecked so you have to check this and press ok you will get this developer tab then in a developer tab you will go on insert and add as pin button right okay so you will add this pin button and you will draw this pin button here. sorry not this one you will go on insert sheet and you will simply input this this button right so you can simply draw this scroll bar right you just draw this scroll bar and you will right click on format control so your minimum value is zero since you have eight record you can make it you know sorry your minimum value will be one and the maximum value will be eight and you can link this in a cell here let's say so if any changes here it will be changed here right so whatever changes will be done here will be changed here as well right so now what I will do I will do apply a formula index here right and my array is this one right since my sorry my apologies let me remove this okay so I will apply the index here and I will select these student names right so this is basically my first row second row third row and so so my row number will be I go back here and I will select this one I don't need to input the ID here so just select this one and comma and my column name will be the one and press ok so I need to pick the information from the student database column B I will choose the row from here and my column will always be one I will simply press enter so if I just change this you can see my students are changing accordingly right but my pictures is not changing so in order to change the picture basically this two this one is basically equals to the row number of two right and this is the column a right so let's say I just it's, I just press a equal here I will go here and I will select let's say the first column okay the student I let's say I select I will remove this equal sign and press enter so now I have this as a text right what I need to do now I will press this equal sign and take this whole data into uh, inverted comma but I will not choose the last two I will remove that so I will just reference my sheet and the column my column is a so I will change it to a so my student sheet column number a I can skip these column uh, these dollar sign as well this is not really important here so my student sheet column a and I have to concatenate for concatenate I will press the end sign with this one and since it is running uh, 
as one size before means the column 2 is equals to 1 here so I can simply plus plus 1 here so this student the a triple zero one is at the row 2 of column B and the picture is in the row A of row 2 so row A of column A of row 2 has this student picture so I will use this as my reference what I will do I will go in my formulas after keeping my uh, cursor here I will go in formulas I will define my name okay here I will say let's say student pick I just input the name I just came here and I will bring that in an indirect formulas so indirect this cell student pick press ok so now I will click on my this picture after clicking on this picture I will click on the formula bar or press equal and I will simply type student pick press enter and I got this picture right okay I will just go I will give property size I will go on properties do not move or resize it's a print object and everything okay it's good so I just arrange it so if I change here like that you can see my student pictures are changing accordingly right so with this scroll bar uh, you are able to simply print your cards very easily and you can always select this uh, and set as a print area so nothing will get wrong so it means you just when you press ctrl p you will be able to print this card and if you would like you can hide these all the columns just to be more uh, clear so you just hide everything I hide this as well okay I need to rematch this picture right so and simply you are able to uh, generate this ID card by simply using this scroll bar means you can see hope you like it if you like it please do like to subscribe to this channel and Thank you so much.